Go ahead, what you got? Jack Finley, an another impressive performance. What do, you, what do you maybe learn more about him each time out? And what could it do for his future? Um, man, the fastball movement today, like he had it kind of cut into one side of the plate and it was running to the other and he commands that. And you could tell the swing comfort level was so minimal for them. Um, and he's repeating it. So when you're running guys out that you're not familiar with, freshmen or otherwise, it's the repeatability of what you see. And he continues to do what we were hoping he would do when we recruited him. And that's really command the fastball. And he's got two breaking pitches that, that he uses. He used both of them today. But I still felt like it was just the, the pure fastball movement and command of it that allowed him to you know, pitch the way he did. So you just gain more confidence. And we were not going to let anybody go out there today and, and overdo it because we're at a period of time where we need everybody ready for these weekends. Kind of going off of that, is he pretty much slotted in as your Sunday guy given the way last Sunday went and tonight? You know, and yeah, you know, it makes sense. And I have to process a little bit of, like, where we are and what Pitt um, seems to be adept at and we'll figure it out and if if he makes sense to use in some sort of role other than starting sunday we have him and i want to be sure like we had that option um, and then if you don't then like we did i think it was last weekend or whenever the last time we played i think we used him on on sunday and um, you know he's just gaining experience and confidence and we played um played these guys last time in detroit um, he came in in relief so we're trying to, as we position these young guys for the stretch, to give them experience at both of the situations they could experience. What it's like to start a game kind of of this magnitude, and then what it's like to come into a game of this magnitude in the sixth inning, seventh inning, fifth inning, whatever the situation calls for. So, yeah, he, he's in good shape to do whatever. I don't know right now. It makes sense to start him, but I, I don't know that that's something I'm comfortable saying tonight. Over. You've seen some of the older guys, um, Rayo, and you know I know Aiden, like it looked like he was going to have a really quick seventh inning and it, it evolved into not that, but we've seen him so many times go out there and get some key ground balls and get a punch out. So you, you just you feel good with the older guys and you know Brannigan's finding his way. Um, then the younger ones, you know, Finley has checked some boxes along the way, and it's been pretty consistent. And then Raddick and Roman are the two young guys. It, it, it's been a little bit harder to see the true consistency and command. The stuff, I think, is there. It's just the consistency of command for some reason. We haven't quite nailed that down. Um, Bedford, he's tough. I know he, he, he got barreled a little bit today but it's 92 to 95 with a little sink and a firm cutter slider. He's gonna have to help us down the stretch. Um, and then Mercer, how we use him. He's kind of figured some things out with his little nagging injury he had. So I think we're really on the right track with him. And to be honest, at the start of last year, we, we had him in a relief role because we know how deceptive it is to come in in a short spurt. Um, so I think we're, we're comfortable with that if need be. Whether he needed to start like he did last year or let Finley start the third game, we'll, we'll sort it out. I know you'd seen Bedford in, in practice and in the fall, but how important was it to, to be able to start working him into a game and, and getting him in yeah. some of these situations, especially before postseason? Yeah, I mean, we place a premium on our practice and our work. Uh, you can place all the premiums on it you want. It's still different when Michigan State is in the batter's box and there's – a magnitude of this game that you don't, you can't experience that in our practice setting. We try to make it intense, but when it's your first outing and the ramifications of your first outing being where we are in this whole thing, it's pretty significant. So, what he just did, I think he's 25 pitches maybe. You can probably multiply that by 10. So, he threw a ton of pitches, like from a learning perspective versus what we've been doing all season to try to keep him fresh. I think this goes a long way and he needs to be better like it wasn't down like that sinker needs to be a little further down where it's not running into the barrel but he's gonna he's gonna help us